hello guys and welcome to another exciting video on this channel in this video i'm going to talk about everything that you need to know about merge by amazon now before i move forward let me uh, tell you what this video is about and uh, who this video is actually aimed at so i'm making this video actually uh, for those who are absolute beginners on merge by amazon or those who are uh, thinking of uh, making uh, creating an account or signing up for the merge by amazon so it is mainly targeted towards that those ideas and if you are uh, uh, you know already a pro on merge by amazon seller or maybe are uh, you have uh, already a lot of experience selling uh, merge by uh, shirts through uh, merge by amazon then maybe this video is not for you but uh, you are actually welcome to uh, uh, watch this video okay uh, the first thing that i would like to clarify is that there will uh, there are certain uh, you know legal terms will be used here and certain legal aspects of this whole business thing and i would like to uh, put a put a disclaimer here that i'm not uh, you know a legal guidance or something like that so you if you have uh, if there is something that for which you have to seek uh, some legal legal guidance maybe you should contact a lawyer uh, for that purpose specific purpose this video is not uh, the purpose of this video is not uh, to give you a legal guidance regarding any of that uh, this all uh, much by amazon business thing so uh, let me tell you what i'll be uh, covering under this uh, in, in this video okay the first of uh, i'll be introducing to you the print on demand or the pod what is actually print on demand and uh, in other different uh, platforms or other, the, all these type of things then i'll be talking about the entry to uh, into the merge by amazon business how can you sign up for it and how can you start you know uploading your designs and things then i'll talk about the competition and that you will be facing on this much by amazon business or the, on this platform and the third thing is will be the pros and then the cons about this uh, much by amazon uh, business thing and uh, all the things that you need to know about the positive aspects and the negative aspects of this business and finally i'll give you the final thoughts what i think about uh, this uh, much by amazon platform all the pros and cons that i have already discussed uh, at that time in this video so i'll give you my final thoughts and my opinions about that so without further delay let's get into it now what is pod pod is actually an abbreviation for print on demand which actually means that the products are actually printed once they are ordered so they are not they don't actually exist uh, before an order is placed so if a shirt has a certain design the shirt, the shirt with that design does not exist it only exists after a person places an order for a specific size and for a specific color of the shirt once that order is placed uh, the print on demand company actually prints it and then uh, ships it either you sh uh, ship it to the, uh, your uh, customers or the company ships it to your customers depending on what type of business you are doing and uh, there are different marketplaces and uh, pl platforms uh, that are doing this kind of business now let me uh, tell you what is the difference between uh, marketplace and a uh, platform a marketplace is uh, is a website or you know as it suggests a marketplace where you actually upload your designs and the company handles all the printing all the shipping all the customer service all the things that at uh, the, uh, that is uh, you know related to this kind of business so they do all they do all the things you just have to uh, provide your designs and maybe advertise a little uh, if you want to make some good sales and the examples of these marketplaces are actually uh, redbubble teespring t public zazzle cafe presso is one of the oldest uh, you know marketplace and etsy is also another marketplace uh, uh, but it is actually uh, etsy is a little bit different from the other thing and uh, of course uh, much by amazon is also a marketplace because the uh, the products and uh, that they are printing and, and uh, you know and uh, all the uh, things that shipping is actually done by the amazon on the main website so your products will be visible on the main website and the platform the platforms on the other hand are a different thing in which you have to do almost all things uh, you know you have to own a website you have to create your own website you have to you know uh, uh, look uh, you have to advertise your products and then uh, look for customers and all the things and then you have to deal with the customer service as well 
and this and the example of the uh, platforms are actually uh, shopify uh, woocommerce you know uh, the, uh, the wordpress plugin and the other squarespace and other different type of these type of things uh, which use a third party printing service uh, like printful printify uh, another type of these kind of services or you can actually if you have a large business you can actually print your shirts your own self and sell it through your own uh, platforms or maybe through etsy and so this is the mainly difference between print on demand uh, platforms and marketplaces now let's talk about uh, the entry into the merch by amazon on, on the website the first thing you need to know is that uh, mba or merch by amazon is actually uh, an invite only you cannot uh, actually sign a, sign sign up and then you know, start instantly uploading your design and start selling it doesn't have, uh, it doesn't happen like this so it is not like other print on demand marketplaces or maybe other platforms and that you might be familiar with like red red bubble or maybe uh, zazzle or maybe perfect or other uh, sites like that so you have to actually uh, fill out a form and then apply it and then after if you are uh, if you are accepted you will be uh, able to sell your uh, design or pro the products and that they offer uh, you have to sell your design on those products and uh, so that is uh, uh, one main thing is that it is an invite only so before you actually uh, fill out the invitation form and uh, you actually apply for the uh, you know uh, for uh, having an account you need to know that you should have uh, 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 you should have a portfolio beforehand if you are an artist or maybe if you are not an artist and already a seller uh, on other website or maybe on your own website you need to have some kind of portfolio that you can show the, the people on the much by amazon behind the people uh, or on the i mean behind this service that uh, you already know about uh, print on demand and all the different aspects uh, of this thing and if you are an artist that is well good you actually can show your uh, portfolio but uh, one thing i'd like to tell you is that you need to show your portfolio uh, on other marketplace similar multiple marketplaces like red bubble or, and maybe if you are selling on etsy or something like that maybe you have a portfolio on different other portfolio type of websites you only where you can only show your design or stuff like that and uh, that is that can be okay too because uh, there is no clear terms defined uh, by much by amazon that who they accept and who they reject and uh, so you know it's just you know uh, kind of like try on basis you, you have to try it and if it is better if you already have some designs and if you are already selling through other print on demand marketplaces okay the next thing is that uh, let's talk about the non us sellers uh, the most important thing is uh, for me is that non us sellers can also sell through merch by amazon so if you are not living in a us you don't have you know a us passport and you are living in other parts of the world you can actually uh, uh, fill out the form the invitation form and then start selling your designs after the your invitation is accepted so that is one big thing that you can actually sell uh, on this platform without being a us seller and uh, then the next thing is the trademarks and copyright rules okay that is the one of the most and most confusing thing that in my experience that uh, has that you have to deal with this uh, Uh, print on one platform much by amazon you have to really be careful about the trademarks you have to be really careful about the uh, copyright issues and i have uh, already made several videos on these topics trademarks and copyright so you can check out here uh, in the card i'll show uh, at the top of the video you can check out those videos and uh, learn something about it and i i would suggest that you must learn about this uh, trademarks and copyrights because that is one of the key factor that Uh, people have uh, you know got get their accounts suspended and uh, they are banned from uh, this platform um, after making a few mistakes maybe and that is one of the main things that you need to know and uh, also uh, at this point i i'll really like to tell you about the something a little bit about the taxes so uh, you have to uh, you know fill out the form the tax forms uh, and uh, you have to, uh, to uh, you know after your invitation is accepted so you need to provide that those that information is that is a separate thing and i'll not discuss it here because that is totally a legal type of thing and i'm not you know uh, fully qualified to actually give you legal advice at this time so you need to look into that as well okay now let's talk about the competition on this much uh, by amazon website or this platform the first thing you need to know is that 
it is highly competitive it is maybe you can uh, say that is uh, extremely competitive as compared to the uh, you know uh, other print on demand platforms or marketplaces the reason is that uh, i think is the okay before I, I give you the reason is that i I'd like to tell you that amazon much by amazon was started in 2015 and at that time as i, I was already selling through zazel uh, another marketplace print on demand marketplace so i came to know about this uh, much by amazon i think uh, but i actually i missed it and so i'm still suffering from that because i should have applied at that time uh, but uh, actually that's what happened so the what the thing is that from where that competition is actually coming from from this uh, much by amazon platform the, fa- uh, the first thing is that other much by amazon sellers so they are all like the, maybe thousand or maybe uh, millions of other uh, uh, much by amazon sellers that are already selling on this platform also not only the much by amazon sellers and you will have to face the competition with the fba sellers as well you know fulfillment by amazon sellers so it is uh, it's very difficult at this moment to make and you know any decent sales for the newcomers because that is a highly competitive marketplace you might be able to find thousands of shirts on a certain topic on a certain niche if you search out say uh, for example a few words of a certain niche and you might be able to find thousands of shirts on, on that specific topic and not only the mba shirts you will be able to find out the fps shirts and the worst thing is about uh, the worst thing that comes out of this thing is that low pricing so people are actually pricing low uh, low their designs uh, their designs and that is kind of a kind of negative effect on the earnings of the other people you know people uh, the, the most of the customers that are actually coming to the amazon they are looking for the cheap price goods and so if people are actually uh, if you have similar type of shirts you know quality closely related on the same niche and some of the shirts are actually very low and some of the shirts are actually high about 1999 is the mainly that amazon suggests is that you play price your shirts so the pricing uh, you know, factor comes into play in, at this time in this competition and that is one of the main thing the other thing is the copycats you know as i already told you that a lot of uh, people are actually doing this business mba and that has resulted in a lot of copycats you might be able to see the exact replicas of your uh, design on your shirt after if your shirt start selling you know in a few weeks you will be able to see a lot of uh, replicas or copycats of your design maybe they are not exactly like that but they will be related to that you may be using the same phrase and uh, if you don't have a trademark for that phrase so they might be using the same phrase the similar type of design the same thing maybe a different type of thing so you will be able to have you have to face with the copycats and that is something that you have to do deal with and and there is nothing you can do about it the other thing is that this is a tier system a tier system or whatever you pronounce it there this is a tier system so at the first you are not allowed to submit that much designs you are only allowed to submit only 10 designs you can only sell 10 products at one time and once you have a certain number of sales may the amazon suggest that the number of sales is actually related to the tier system so if you are a tier 10 you have to make 10 sales to get off, out of the 10 tier and then the 25 and then the 100 and 500 and 1000 and 2000 and so on like that so you have to make the number of sales equal to the tier that you already are on and that is really difficult for the new customers or i mean for the new designer the new sellers and i'll talk about this uh, at the end uh, in my final thoughts how you can actually escape uh, through the uh, lower tiers and i've already made some videos uh, regarding this and you can check out those videos as well so you have to face actually uh, tier system in order to be successful so that is one of the you know kind of drawback of this whole uh, competition thing and the multi amazon thing the third and the last thing in this uh, another competition is that be first if you are design if you have something in mind you have uh, you know uh, you have seen some trend coming up so you have seen some trend happening and you are the first one to uh, create a design and uh, put it on the shirt and and that start selling so if you are first chances are that you will continue uh, start selling on those products those design throughout the year maybe all the time 
and that is one of the main factor is because after uh, uh, pe other people come to know about that specific niche or specific design and uh, th there will be a lot of competition there will be a lot of copycats and, uh, and this kind of stuff uh, happening in this uh, uh, and you will have to face uh, a lot of stuff like that let's talk about the pros about uh, selling on uh, much by amazon the first thing is that i already told you that and uh, all the things the printing and the shipping the customer service is actually handled by amazon so you don't have to deal with any kind of inventory you just have to save your design on your computer maybe on a cloud service uh, to keep it safe and then uh, you can actually put it on your uh, account on your shirts i mean on the shirts that amazon is actually selling you can put your design on them and you don't have to deal with uh, any kind of inventory problems that maybe the stuff is actually selling and you are getting uh, you know limited amount of specific type of shirts or specific color of the shirts you don't have to deal with that also you don't have to deal with the headache of the customer service all that is handled by uh, amazon amazon stuff and the, uh, the whole thing and the next thing is that there is no starting cost at all for some cases if you already already a designer if you already have the design software you already ha have well experience in this you can actually sell your existing designs on this uh, platform and if you if you are not a designer you can actually use there are several online services available for those who can actually uh, help you create the design to other freelancers or maybe if you're not uh, using other freelancers there are other websites like canva or other uh, mobile applications that can through which you can actually create your own design uh, if you have uh, uh, you know a uh, uh, specific phrase in your mind or maybe you have searched uh, search, searched for a specific niche uh, you can actually uh, start designing on those free platforms or free services as well and the last thing is that as i already said that no design skills are required if you are not a designer you don't know anything about the design you can still start selling in it but if you are a designer or if you know a little bit about the design the colors thing the the you know complementation of the i mean uh, what's called that how colors complement each other or how the opposite colors work all of the things if you know a little bit about that that will be a plus point and you'll be able to make a better sales than compared to the others so uh, that these are i think the main pros about this mba and uh, let's move on towards the cons and the cons are about i say i'd say that that is the one of the biggest problems uh, that i think uh, is uh, related to the merge by amazon the first thing is that you don't have know anything about the your account health as i already said that you have and uh, you know, already uh, have to uh, deal with the trademarks and copyrights you have to be really careful about that so this thing uh, is this is the thing that you uh, is, is that if you have a strike against your account if you have maybe you submitted a design and it was trademarked or maybe a other uh, it was copyrighted uh, maybe so it was if it was taken down and that is actually a strike against your account and you can there is no way for you to know that how many strikes uh, you can actually have before your account is suspect, uh, suspended and you are banned from uh, selling on, on this platform so there is no information about your account health that is actually a guesswork and and that is one of the cons of about this mba website then there is that there is no information about the return so for example the customer has returned its product they didn't they didn't like it maybe or maybe there was certain issues regarding the product so there is actually absolutely no information is provided to you about the returns why that return it happened maybe the problem is with your design and maybe the problem is with uh, the sizing of the product and maybe the printing of the product all of these type of things uh, that uh, you actually should know in order to be successful in order to be serious about that but amazon does not give you any information regarding that and then the other thing uh, that is related to this the mockups and the sizing issues the problem uh, which i think uh, here uh, with the mockups on this uh, platform is that they just put your design as it on to you uh, on the shirt templates and uh, uh, show it to your customers now they don't take into effect the printing 
technique or the printing you know the, the thing the thing is that if you have a design and it looks a little different on your computer screen as compared to if it is actually printed on the uh, on the product because actually the actual ink is being used to print on the product and on the computer screen these are the bright pixels so there is a little difference between and the colors that appear on the screen and the ones that appear on the actual product and in my experience few of my designer um, few of my products are actually returned because of that the customers were saying that it looked different on the computer screen while actually printed it looks totally different so while creating the mockups uh, Amazon actually should have considered this and that uh, they should take into effect that the fabric effect or maybe the printing effect they, uh, that should actually uh, show up on the uh, mockups so that they look exactly like uh, the the products that they are selling and actually i like Redbubble about this because they use this kind of techniques and their mockups actually look a lot better or maybe a lot like the product actual products they are selling and i have not experienced any a single return on much on Redbubble because of this issue then the sizing issues i have uh, i have had bad reviews on my products and that is only because of the sizing issues they ship uh, size people are complaining about uh, you know undersized products uh, uh, the size do not actually fit as they are uh, the size in chart they are given on their uh, pay product pages so that is one of the issues and the problem is that you cannot actually do anything about that you cannot do anything about the printing you cannot do anything about the sizing issues and, and also the copycats as i already said you will be able you will be facing a lot of copycats if your design starts selling after a few weeks you will see a lot of copycats and there is nothing you can do about that as well unless they are exact pixel to pixel copies of your product uh, you have to deal with it and move on okay let's uh, uh, let's talk about the final thoughts what do i have to say about that I think that Merch by Amazon is actually a kind of extra income for you. It can serve as a source of extra income. It is not a, you know, a, a full-time job. You can actually earn a little bit extra income uh, along with your full-time job or maybe other kind of work if you are a freelancer or something like that. As I am, I'm actually earning money through freelancing, designing for the clients, and also through this print-on-demand platform. So it can serve as an extra pocket money to you. It is a good good in you know, a good amount of pocket money it's not a small thing if you are at higher tiers at lower tiers you have to be really you know you have to escape whatever you can do to escape through lower tiers but don't put trademarks uh, for slogans and copy uh, right uh, copy right uh, images or stuff on that you will get instantly banned from them and because the risk of getting your account suspended at lower tiers is a lot higher as compared to it is at the higher tiers when you are at higher tiers and they are actually a bit more you know relaxed or made a bit more accepting towards that that you sometimes that if you have strike happen against your account that that might be happened because of the mistake because you are already selling through their platform for a couple of months or maybe a year or two and so uh, my camera actually stopped working in the middle of there so let's start from where i left so uh, i was saying that uh, amazon is actually more accepting if you are selling on their platform for a couple of years uh, maybe a, a couple of months and you might not get your account suspended if you make a mistake but at the lower tiers you have to really have to be a lot of uh, really careful about the copyright and trademark issues then uh, the competition it's actually a rising thing every day the competition is rising and when you are uploading more and more design the thing you think that you will get more sales but uh, you don't and uh, that is one of the you know i think that is a, one of the bad thing about this thing the con or you know something that you have to deal with and then the, there are ads actually you can actually advertise your products through their advertising platform or the advertising service of much by or I mean, advertising service of the amazon not much by amazon you can actually advertise your products and uh, uh, you know be a little bit more competitive as compared to the others it gives you more chance of selling your products and uh, that is a whole lot different thing the advertising thing most of the time you will see yourself you know losing your money and not getting as much sales in the return 
and there are a lot of factors in regard to that as well and in fact i've been selling on much by amazon for more than a year and i've been you know uh, trying different things with the ads uh, the whole thing and till uh, up till now i have only one month in which all of my ads were actually in profit and uh, and uh, all other months i was actually losing money on ads as much as you know as compared to actually earning something from that although i am i was getting some sales so uh, that was a, a plus point but uh, still money was being uh, going out of my pocket because of the ads and the other thing is that uh, i need to tell you is that your designs are actually not there on the print uh, on this marketplace forever so if you do not make any sale at all for about maybe i think it was 6 month and now it has uh, it is about for one year so if you do not make any sale on a new product for one year you will not be able to sell uh, that product that product will be taken down it will be removed from the platform it will not actually result in strike against your account but uh, you will not be able to sell that product although you can upload the same design on the same product and then you know uh, make a fresh start of and try to sell it but that is one of the things and the final thing is i would like to say is that don't put all the eggs in was uh, in one basket don't actually depend on the mba alone start uh, selling through other print on demand platforms or the marketplaces that i have already discussed and you can find uh, videos in my channel regarding other marketplaces as well and how you can sell on those uh, so uh, diversify your uh, you know selling options and also diversify your portfolio do not uh, you know depend on one niche uh, start uh, selling on different niches and different topics uh, start covering all the different things uh, like that and that is uh, the most important thing is that uh, because you are not actually in control of your account here although you are but not totally in control of your account maybe as you make a certain mistake something something happens you know and uh, they get your account suspended even uh, especially on the uh, lower tier so you have to have your options open you have to have you know your choices in your life and uh, that is actually the main thing and i think i have covered almost all of the things that i wanted to discuss uh, in this topic and uh, if you think i have missed something and if you would like to know about certain thing uh, something like that you can uh, ask me in the comments and uh, make sure that you check out my other videos uh, regarding other print on demand platforms and on this uh, much by amazon uh, on this platform uh, for this platform as well and uh, you can find those videos in my channel and you can check out those videos and if you have liked this video and you have found something that is interesting and something that is actually beneficial for you in this video make sure that you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press that bell icon so that you can be notified about my future videos as well also you can join my facebook group a link to which you can actually find in the description below in the description below and uh, thank you for watching hi thank you for watching another video and if you have made this far it means you have found something interesting in this video this channel is all about sharing tips about earning a decent living online and if you are interested in this topic make sure that you subscribe to my channel thank you